The hit reality series returned on Monday and saw 20 new singletons gearing up to walk down the aisle to a complete stranger. A body language expert who tuned into the new series of Married at First Sight Australia has already seen enough to make some assumptions about the fate of the couples. While there are some success stories from the show, there are also plenty of failures and personality clashes. Now that Series 10 has kicked off, expert Darren Stanton has given his view. Builder Harrison Boone and beauty educator Bronte Schofield ended up tying the knot in Episode 1. Accountant Lindo Grace and carpenter Cameron Woods also said their I DOS. Giving his verdict on the two newlywed couples, Darren explained Harrison failed to show an instant connection towards his new bride. Speaking on behalf of Betfair Casino, he opened up on the telltale signs that prove Brondi was more into Harrison, who failed to show reciprocal liking and a deep connection towards her. On the other side of the spectrum, Lyndall and Cameron couldn't have been more different after Darren noticed the pair displayed a natural connection. Harrison came across quite arrogant on his wedding day, the body language specialist stated. He is a very different type of groom to Cameron, as he doesn't seem to have the same empathic nature. Harrison clearly appears to be more concerned about his image and how he was feeling, rather than how he was perceived by Brondi's family and friends. From some of his comments, it also seemed that he is quite self-centered in his behavior. I do not believe there was an instant attraction for him towards Bronte. Don't miss! BBC boss refused to wag finger at viewers in new Attenborough series, exclusive, for in a bed star puts head in hands over guest feedback, latest, Antiques Roadshow sees world treasure from Ming Dynasty, video, while Lyndall and Cameron's initial meeting appeared natural and seamless, this ceremony was awkward and disjointed. From what it appears, Brandy is far more into Harrison. I did not see any real signs of instant attraction, reciprocal liking or a deep connection coming from him. Unfortunately for the bride, Darren observed a very dramatic emotional shift in Harrison as he saw Bronte. Darren continued, after watching him closely, I noticed his face appeared drained and he went quite pale. The fact I saw this sudden shift in his emotion is definitely not a good sign, and tells me he was anxious over the situation. In comparison, Brondi was very open and showed a willingness to enter into the relationship. She is clearly attracted to Harrison physically. On the second married couple, Darren revealed, Cameron appeared very teary whilst on the way to his wedding with Lyndall. Meanwhile, Lyndall was clearly a mixed bag of emotions, although her parents seemed very chilled and supportive of the process. From some of the remarks she made, she came across as quite nervous over the experiment. After meeting for the first time, it was clear Lyndall and Cameron had a natural attraction to each other. Mufsa continues on Wednesday at 7. 30 p.m. on E4 in the UK.